The Pentax in-camera shake reduction system allows for the ability to shoot at lower shutter speeds than would otherwise be possible. In general, you can use shutter speeds that are two to four stops slower than what you would normally need to get a sharp image. There is some confusion as to what to expect and how to get the most out of the shake reduction system. So in this video, we'll explain how to properly use it. There is some debate on in-lens versus in-body stabilization. There are a few Sigma lenses for Pentax with in-lens stabilization. You cannot use both systems at the same time. So if you're using a lens with in-lens stabilization, you need to turn off either the in-lens system or the Pentax shake reduction system. While it's true that for certain applications in-lens stabilization is better, in-body stabilization works very well. And unlike in-lens stabilization, it's available with any lens mounted to the camera. To learn more about the pros and cons of the two stabilization systems, please visit Pentax forums. For this tutorial, we'll only cover the Pentax shake reduction system, though most of the tips can be applied to either one. The shake reduction system cannot work miracles. It is an effective tool, but there are very minimal guidelines depending on lens and technique. A few points to note. For manual lenses, you must dial in the actual lens focal length. The shake reduction system is disabled when you're using the self-timer. When using a lens with a longer focal length, camera shake is more apparent, so you'll want to use faster shutter speeds. The shake reduction system does not turn off automatically when placed on a tripod or monopod, and thus should be disabled. You can do this through the quick menu. The shake reduction system should also be turned off for panning, such as when you're tracking cars in a race, or kids in sports. With or without image stabilization, you would want to use higher shutter speeds for this type of photography anyway, as image stabilization of any kind does not help with subjects in motion. The shake reduction system is not instant, and that takes us to our first tip. The shake reduction system takes just under a second to kick in. If you simply shoot, it will not work. You must half press the shutter for just under a second before the shake reduction system is active. This is not a problem unique to Pentax, but for any stabilization system that is not always on. If you disable the autofocus from the shutter button, you should still half press the shutter while you use the AF button on the back to make sure the shake reduction is activated. The shake reduction is also activated when the AF button is pressed, so tracking while holding the AF button will have the same effect. However, I still recommend making a habit of half pressing the shutter button. When the shake reduction is active, you'll notice an icon that looks like a hand with lines on the viewfinder. On the K01, you'll see it on the screen. If you're pressing the shutter button in a forceful manner, then you're further destabilizing the image and the shake reduction system will be far less effective. The best method is to press the shutter smoothly and try to move the camera less. You should try to take photos as if there were no image stabilization system at all. This will increase your keeper rate. Also, don't be afraid to up the ISO a stop or two. Current cameras have more than acceptable high ISO performance these days. It's better to have a sharp, noisy image than one that's not usable due to shake. If you follow these simple guidelines, then you should be able to make the most out of the shake reduction system and enjoy one of the many advantages of the Pentax line of digital cameras. Please feel free to visit Pentax forums anytime for more tips and tricks.